I'm with Alicia Palmowski and uh, this is quite a, a nice special moment for me because I'm a huge champion of women in motorsport for very obvious reasons of course um, but it's amazing to see a young woman with some talent that is coming along and coming through the ranks Alicia and I can prove that she's got talent I'm not just saying it because I'm a big super fan uh, this young lady won the very first race of the season at Alton Park so first of all take us back a couple of weeks and let us know just how, what happened in that race and how you won it yeah of course well it was it's been such a great start to the season for me um, I've been in Genetta Juniors for the last two years so it's my first year in single seats this year racing in the GB4 championship a uh, big big learning curve you know the cars they're sort of 30 plus seconds a lap quicker than the Genetta Juniors so a lot to learn and a lot to adapt to um, but now we're on um, slick tires rather than road tires so although the cars are 10 times quicker they've got 10 times more grip so um, I've managed to get to grips with it really quickly, to be honest, um, and a great start to the season, getting that opening win. Great confidence booster for me and, and for the whole team as well. It's been great to work with Sarah Moore as well, who's my engineer. Um, she's worked incredibly hard on getting the car in a, in a perfect window for me, so I'm really comfortable with it. Um, and my, Ollie, my mechanic, Ollie, as well, and Demi, they've just the whole team has been fantastic in providing a car for me that's, that's exceptional. So, really good start to the season. Yeah, it was, and not just a one-off because you came P5 the race afterwards. And then yesterday, in the first race at Silverstone, you then got a second, so back on the podium again. So uh, how did that go yesterday? Yeah, it was a really positive result yesterday. Um, we've actually been struggling a little bit this weekend um, in testing on Thursday and Friday, struggling with the car setup. It was a little bit loose, and I didn't really have the confidence in the car underneath me. Um, so I was a little bit apprehensive to be honest going into the race yesterday um, but to qualify fourth that was a good start to be on the second row of the grid obviously in, in qualifying it was a little bit damp conditions uh, whereas the race was dry so a big challenge obviously to deal with the different conditions um, but if you'd have told me you know the, this time on Thursday on Friday that I'd have got a podium in second place I'd, I wouldn't have believed you I'd have been shocked so really good solid championship points um, and again another good confidence booster to show that we can be be up there at different circuits as well not just at Elton Park so yeah it, it's com it's looking good going forwards. Yeah definitely I think you're third in the championship at the yes. moment aren't you so that's looking really good um, so we've, you've been at Elton Park you've been at Silverstone have you raced in Janetta did, did you ever race here before or is it yes. the first time so you've raced at Silverstone have, yes. raced at Elton Park so describe the difference for people who might not have been fortunate enough to go to these circuits. Yeah, describe the difference between a circuit like Alton Park mm -hmm. and a circuit like Silverstone. Well, that's a really good question uh, because they are complete polar opposite tracks, really. Alton Park is a really narrow, tight circuit, really technical, a lot of chicanes, a lot of start-stop, um, very difficult, difficult circuit to hook together, a uh, very long circuit as well. Uh, whereas here at Silverstone, again, it's the longest circuit in the UK actually here at Silverstone, but it's the complete opposite. It's really wide, fast flowing, open circuit. Um, there's not really much start stop. It's all momentum built really around the circuit, um, which makes it a big challenge as well, because if, if you ruin, if you make a mistake in one corner, that can affect you for the next five corners time potentially and, and down the long straights such as the hangar straights that's a chunk of your lap time. So if you ruin the corner before, then you lose a lot of lap time. Whereas at Alton Park, which is more, you're straight out of one corner into the next, it's not as crucial to, to get those exits. Whereas here, we're totally focusing on getting back on throttle and getting back on the power for the straights. So completely different mindsets and different car setups needed as well for the different, the different tracks. So big challenge for the drivers, obviously, as it's just completely different mentality needed but but no it's it's great and obviously it's the home of British motorsport here at Silverstone so it's it's also known that the Formula One race here you know all, all of my idols have raced around Silverstone so really privileged to to get the opportunity to race around here. That's really absolutely fascinating to know because that's the first time I've heard that described uh, in, in, the, in the depth that you've described it as. So we're here it's after midday we've had race two cancelled this morning what do you do with your time? What have you been doing with your time? Because we still don't know at this moment in time if race three is going to go ahead. So what have you been doing to fill your time when there is a cancelled race? Yeah, well, it's obviously a very difficult situation to be in. Um, Sarah Moore is behind the camera trying to put me off. Um, so I just thought I'd just out with that. I can see her. Just, yeah, um, and it worked. Well done, Sarah. Um, but no, it's, it's obviously a challenging situation to be in, um, waking up to so much rain. And then it was about five minutes before I got in the car that we heard it was cancelled. So you know the car had just been put on the floor the team had been working very hard very last minute setup changes for the rain and then to hear it was cancelled so obviously now on a bit of a setback um, and there's a big question about the race later on this afternoon about which race it was going to be whether we yeah. run the reverse grid race which it was supposed to be or whether we run race two yeah. with the grid position that it was meant to be three, exactly yeah. <laughs> so 
Um, we were sort of waiting around a while to hear what was going to happen with that, and it has been confirmed that we're going to run race two yeah. in race three slots. So um, that's sort of cha changed the mentality we go into the race for because it's, it's still what we were meant to be doing. So um, I was speaking to Sarah before we went out about you know tactics and looking at some onboard laps as well and and. and different tactics we can have going into the race so the last few hours I've just had some downtime just just chilling out really getting getting back calmed down obviously all the adrenaline had just come up before the race so I was just yeah. letting it calm back down um, but obviously we're edging towards the race now so I'll, I'll come back to Sarah and talk about car setup obviously because we don't actually know what the conditions are going to be like um, it was just drying out and then we had a downpour with rain again so not too sure what the conditions are going to be like and obviously that dictates the car setup we have so just going to spend some time with Sarah talking about what we can potentially do to get the best out of the car, look at some onboard laps and data and, and discuss tactics for the start as well really, so that's it. Sounds amazing, I'm really grateful for your time and it is wonderful to meet you and we should the best of luck if we get this race going at the yes. end of today but certainly for the rest of the season. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for having me, lovely to meet you.